This is Renee with Tridea Partners, and in today's video, I'm going to show you how to use SmartList. SmartList is a powerful querying tool that comes out of the box with Microsoft Dynamics GP. It allows you to view and search through all of your system's raw data. You can choose to search for data from a wide variety of parameters, as well as add additional fields to your SmartList view. You can also create custom views and add them as favorites and reminders to your home page. Let's start by taking a look at the navigation of SmartList. To access SmartList, simply go to Microsoft Dynamics GP up top here, and then click on SmartList. On the left-hand side here, you'll notice a series of folders. Each of these folders ties to a module within GP, which makes it easy for you to look for a particular set of data. Within each folder, you have a series of subfolders that further organizes your data and then one level down you have your views. Anytime you see a view denoted with an asterisk at the end, this is a view that comes out of the box with GP. Anytime there is a view with only an asterisk, this view will show you all the records within that folder. So for instance, in this subfolder, if I click on this asterisk, this will show me all the payables transactions in my current GP company. You'll see on the bottom here that it's now exploring and now completed, and I have a total of 736 payables transactions. Over here, the system tells me that it has displayed the first 1,000 records with no search criteria. What this means is that I haven't set any search filters to this particular view, and that I've set the maximum number of records to be displayed to 1,000. If I wanted to filter this view, I could simply click on the search button here. In this window, you'll see I have a total of four search criteria that I can set. Over here, under search options, I have the option of setting the maximum number of records to be returned. Over here under search type, I can either choose to have my results match all of my search criteria or only match one or more. So let's say I want to return all the payables transactions for a vendor by the name of Capital Printing. So I'm going to click on this lookup icon here and select vendor ID. And then here under filter, I can set different rules for this search criteria. I'm going to choose is equal to, and I happen to know the ID of this vendor. And so I'm going to type that in. And then I'm going to click OK. Here I have a total of 15 payables transactions. And if I scroll to the right, I'll be able to see more of my data. Let's say I want to know whether or not these transactions are voided. I can click on columns up top here, and this will open the change column display window, and then click on add. And here we have a long list of fields that I could add to my current smart list view. So instead of scrolling down and searching for the particular field I need, I'm simply going to type in void and search for that field. This is the field I want. I'm going to select it and click OK. And let's say I don't want this field to be at the bottom of my list. I want it to be the first column in my view. So I'm going to click this arrow here, and that moves my voided title to the top of my list. I'm going to add one more title, and that's going to be document amount. So I'm going to click Find Next, select that, and click OK, and I'm going to move that up top as well. I'm going to click OK, and now it's going to redisplay. Now we have our voided column and our document amount. So let's say I want to get rid of the space here. To reformat the width of my columns, I can hover at the end of a column title, double click here, and it will automatically resize my width. So let's say now I don't want to see transactions that have been voided. So I'm going to add another search criteria. And now I'm going to say, please exclude items that have been voided. click OK, and now all of my transactions displaying 
have not been voided. So let's say I want to save this view so that next time I go into Smart List, I can take a look at it. You can simply click on Favorites up top here and enter a name for this favorite Smart List. So let's say Payables for Capital. And over here under Visible too, I can select whether I want this view to be available to the entire system, to only this company, to only a user class, or only to myself. I'm going to say System, and then I'm going to click on the Add button. And here I can choose to either add this as a favorite, which will save the report in SmartList, or I can choose to add it as a favorite and a reminder, in which case the reminder would be set to my home page. So I'm going to select this option. And here my custom reminder window opens. Now I have to set a rule of when GP will remind me to view the smart list. So I'm going to select the second radio button. And the rule I'm going to create is I'm going to want GP to alert me of this smart list anytime the vendor's total balance exceeds $1,000. So to do that, I'm going to click on this drop down and I'm going to select the document amount field. And so now I'm going to say total of column document amount is greater than $1,000. And then I'm going to click OK. And now you'll notice on the left hand side my smart list has been saved. If I close out of smart list and I go back in, go back to purchasing, payable transactions, you'll see my smart list is still there. So let's take a look at the reminder. So here I am at my home page and I'm going to do a quick refresh and now you'll notice here my smart list is displaying as a reminder and if I click on this link it'll automatically take me to my smart list. In addition if you needed to export this view to Excel that's available to you. So if I click on this Excel button GP will automatically export this to an Excel file, thereby allowing me to do further data manipulation. For more tips and tricks, feel free to visit Tridea's online blog or contact us at the email both listed below. Thanks for listening!